This is gonna be short. Hey everybody, welcome back. And today on the channel, we have got Broken Barrels released. Now these guys, I've had things from them in the past and I was initially very skeptical of the concept. It felt kind of gimmicky. The idea is that they break down, instead of regular finishing, they break down other barrels, secondary barrels, take those staves and then put them in the existing barrel with the whiskey, with the aging whiskey. So that's their stave finishing process as opposed to a traditional secondary barrel finishing process. It all kind of sounded a little gimmicky to me, especially because they used various very young either bourbons or American whiskeys, corn whiskeys, things like that. I will say their initial releases did surprise me. I didn't fall in love with them right away, but I thought I was going to straight up not like them and they were pretty darn good this is another series of releases from them which i'm honestly very intrigued by i think they've taken on a little bit more of a mature take on that same concept we'll get into more of them later but today what we have is the reckoner which is an american wheat whiskey again these aren't necessarily bourbons and i like how straightforward they are with what is going on in this bottle 36 months Single barrel right there on the front of the sample bottle there. That's the same label that will be on the full size bottle. So this is a three year wheat whiskey. And if that wasn't enough, which usually for a lot of people, that's it. That's all you get. We get a mash bill, 85% wheat, 15% malted barley. Fair enough. And they give you the oak bill, which is their version of the finishing process, where they tell you how many of what kind of staves they use in the wheat whiskey barrel. So in this one, they use 80% cognac cask staves and 20% French oak. You're going to see a lot of French oak in these broken barrels. Uh, it's always, I think, a good baseline finishing stave. French oak always has a really nice spice to it. So uh, this one's pretty powerful. This is 120 proof. It's not saying cask strength, but we just know that it's 120 proof for the bottle. So without further ado, let's take a look at it again. This is an American wheat whiskey, 85% wheat. We don't know the full length of the finishing of the oak bill of the stave finishing. But again, we're talking about a three-year whiskey, wheat whiskey, with cognac staves. Now, I've always been on my high horse about using finishing style processes like this on young whiskey to cover up flaws. So we're going to see, if, is this something trying to cover up something that's too young and not ready to go yet? Three years isn't crazy young, but it's not usually the maturity for whiskey you want to see. So, does this finishing the stave process cover up too much? Let's take, let's take a look. So, initial um, on the nose, it's it's a little hot, 120 proof. You're gonna kind of expect that, and it is still a young whiskey, so it's a little rough around the edges. Really sweet notes though. That un under that burn, that initial 120 proof burn, um, really nice sweet like grape, dark fruit, stone fruity, almost like plums and things like that. Dark berries, a little bit of uh, like molassesy sugar. Really nice nose notes. It's just on a little. Of, I wish they maybe would have. Tone this down a little bit. I would love to have this at like 110, maybe. And I can add some water, and I might do that. Just to see some of these come out a little bit more obvious, not fighting that high proof. Woo. Now, this is my first drink of the day. Um, it's hot. Really strong. It's hot. It runs a little hot. Those fruity flavors carry through. I'm going to go ahead because I think this is going to be made for adding some water. So there's a couple little droplets here that I'm going to add. Three, four. And sometimes you don't even need to add too many. Okay. Switch it around a little bit. And immediately it softens some of that heat. Really sweet. Now we're getting a little bit more of those weedy kind of notes, those sweeter grain notes. 
Again, it's still younger, so you're getting those grassy kind of grainy notes that you get in young whiskeys. In this particular case, wheat, obviously. But the sweetness, the almost cakiness of that of that cognac stave finishing and the French oak baking spices. That's so much nicer with a little bit of water. Um, this is a newer company, so I would love to see them hopefully start working with some slightly older whiskeys. Give me a four to six year and do this same process with because it could be covering up some flaws and just some youth. Let's put it that way, covering up some youth. But normally when companies take a young whiskey like this, less than four years old, they throw it in a second barrel for four weeks just letting it sit something about this stave process imparts a little bit more flavor i will say that this is not anything like rapid aging anything like that something you've heard done in cleveland with chunks of wood and everything like that no 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 it just i think it gives it more of a chance for the whiskey to hit it in a shorter amount of time so the finishing process is a little bit more efficient so Check these out. Again, I would add a little bit of water to this. I wish this was at 110 to 115. Uh, but this is, again, for something that sounds kind of gimmicky, is more interesting than I thought. So check out Broken Barrel, the Reckoner, wheat whiskey finished with cognac and French oak steak. Oh, my God. It's still with me. We'll see you on the next one.